Hey guys, it's 604 Comics here with part 2 of my yesteryear comics. Um, part 1 we saw my Marvel collection, and you saw that it was heavy into X-Men and Spider-Man. Uh, this part 2 is going to be a collection of all the other series that I had and all the other miscellaneous comics that uh, I collected. So here are just a few image comics. Um, I don't know why I picked up these image comics, honestly but I picked them up nonetheless. This is Team Youngblood number 15. I don't even know if I picked this up or if someone gave this to me. It's just loose like that. Obviously I didn't pay for it, so I didn't care enough to bag and board it. But there's 15, Team Youngblood 15. Team Youngblood number 20. Uh, I think this was free from the comic shop. Spawn number one, fan edition. I'm not sure if it is Spawn number one. Uh, here is Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number two. And here is the movie version, uh, the comic book version of the movie, TMNT. Like everyone else, I was a big Turtles fan. Loved all the movies. But, uh, yeah. There's that. And this is Purgatory. Um, embossed cover suggested for mature readers. I really don't know what this book's about. But as a teenager, it was a vampire chick with boobs. So I'm like, yeah, get on board. So that's purgatory. I think it's number one issue. I can't really see any numbers on it. I can't even tell if this comes across on the video. But there you can see embossments, shiny foil, blah blah blah. Got a few DC comics. Wasn't that big into the DC world because I was confused and I don't think it was as popular as the Marvel characters back then. But anyways, here is Batman. This is number 436. This is part one of his year three story. I don't know what compelled me to pick up these issues, but um, I did. Here's number 437, 438, and 439. Uh, I was a big fan of Nightwing. I thought he was super cool. I didn't know that he was Robin. But, so that was number 439, Batman, which leads into number 440, Batman. This is part one of five from A Lonely Place of Dying. This was a crossover story with the New Titans. So here's 440 number uh, part one of the story arc. 441 of part, which is part three. And 442, which is the part five. From there, we'll get into the rest of my DC Comics. Here is New Titans, number 61, which is part 4. Uh, where's part 2? I don't know where part 2 is. Oh, this, oh, this is part 2. Okay, got it all out of order. So there is Teen Titans number 60, which is part 2. Don't know why I have two issues of this. I think it was because... Yeah, I don't know why. But anyways, there's number 60, which is part 2. And here is part 4 of the story arc, which is number 61 of New Titans. And those are the only ones that I got for New Titans. Here is the Batman, the Killing Joke. This is the iconic issue where Joker paralyzes Barbara Gordon by shooting her in the spine. Um, this was a really popular comic back then. Um, I remember there's a whole thing about telling which printing you had based on the color of the text here. I think this one's number six or number seven. And I didn't know anything about printing issues, so I didn't know that the first printing would be worth more than um, the sixth print or the seventh print, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really not worth much 
except as a really important storyline. This one, don't know why I picked this up, Gotham by Gaslight. This is not in continuity, this is Batman, I would guess in London. I think this was just a one shot where they wanted to write a different story with Batman. Here is the Lobo Paramilitary Christmas Special. Um, I didn't know anything about the character, but he looked pretty badass and he was killing Santa. There's a warning here. Contains bad taste in the form of ultraviolence, icon bashing, and the finger. More offensive than Christmas usually is. I think that probably sold it for me. I actually read this issue and I thought it was pretty funny. This is the last DC issue that uh, I got back when I was a kid. Or not the last one, but the last one in this collection that I'm showing. This is Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, number one. Um, this one also had a gimmick cover where the border was all different colors. I believe there was probably a yellow, green, red one. I got the orange one. can't remember what that means. But that is the last DC issue for this collection. Here are some miscellaneous other ones. Uh, I think I got these ones more recently, not when I was a teen, but when I grew up a little bit more. Or not grew up a little bit more, but got older. This is I Feel Sick, uh, Slave Labor Graphics, a book about a girl. Uh, if anybody knows anything about this series, this is along with Spooky, the thing that squeed. Here is issue number two of I Feel Sick. And here is Lenore. And I think it's a collected volume. Another slave labor graphic title. This is Adrenaline, Weapon of War, number one. Uh, number two. Number three. Number four. So why did I pick this up? Because she's a weapon of war, girl, robots, robots are cool. Yeah. So that is one through four. And now, here is something, I think I started collecting these ones um, when I was a little bit older. And I don't know how I discovered this particular character but uh, I'm glad I did. This is when I started getting a job and had some money. So we are going to see a lot of um, repeat issues, but that is more because I was a completist. So I'm going to see how I can show you all these guys. So here are all my Dark Child comics. This is also about the time when I started to get into eBay and started to search for those hard to find limited edition cover variants. But this is my entire Dark Chop collection. And I still, to this day, really like the character and storyline. And hopefully there's supposedly a movie coming out. So we'll see whenever that comes out. But this is Dark Child one half. This was something that you could mail into, I believe, Wizard Magazine and you can get it. Um, I got this off of eBay. Here is Dark Child Zero. And I can't remember. I think I probably got this one off. I think I got a lot of these off of eBay because I wasn't um, into it when they came out. So I didn't know about it. But this one is Zero. This is also another Zero issue. Uh, different cover. Aerial Child of Dark Child. This is number three of the original miniseries for Dark Child. Oh, just before I do that. So I think that might have been the regular cover for Zero. And then we have, this was the variant cover, and we see on the back that this is a um, Dynamic Forces variant. And this came with the Certificate of Authenticity. Um, number three. This is number four. And this is number five of the original miniseries for Dark Child. And this is a Dynamic Forces variant cover. 
no certificate included with this one. And then, for some reason, um, they released a remastered version of the same series. I think this is probably because they went to their own publishing company, Garchild Entertainment Publishing. I can't remember the details exactly, but here is remastered number zero. Here is remastered number one. Don't know why I've got two versions of this, but I do. Number three, I actually don't have the entire collection, but there's number three. And here is the trade paperback, collecting one, zero, one through five, maybe zero as well. Um, so there's that. From there, they went into some more uh, series with Dark Child, and here are some more that I picked up from eBay. This is the Dark Child Legacy Summer Preview Dynamic Forces Edition. Also came with a certificate. This is Dark Child Legacy number one. Again, I've got two copies of this. I don't know why. This is Dark Child Legacy number one, a variant cover from Things from Another Universe. Got this one off of eBay. It's got a foil title. This is issue number two. Variant cover of issue number two. And issue number three. And variant cover for issue variant of uh, issue number three. So that was the Dark Child The Legacy miniseries. I think there was only three issues for this one. Then we have, uh, let's see, um, Dark Child Redemption. This is our Dark Child Redemption number one half. Uh, I think it's another one that you mailed into Wizard Magazine for. See the logo, the foil logo, and a certificate of authenticity. So there's that one. So I got one of those. I got two of those. Again, some eBay purchases. And here's redemption number one. Redemption number two. I don't know if there were only two of these in the series, but that's all I have. From there, we go into Dreams of the Dark Child. Here is issue number one, variant cover for issue number one, issue number two, issue number three, issue number four, and issue number five. And there's issue number six. So that is the complete uh, mini series for Dreams of the Dark Child. And I'm getting pretty close to the end, it's wrapping up. These are some miscellaneous Dark Child issues. This is, I think this is a sketch book type of ish. This one I picked up from eBay. It's been autographed by, um, shoot. Randy Queen, who's the creator of Dark Child. This is a sketchbook, again, Dynamic Forces edition. Here is a Dynamic Forces exclusive Painkiller Jane with Dark Child preview book. European edition, I picked this one off of eBay. Again, another, oops. Certificate of Authenticity. Here is Witchblade and Dark Child. And here is a variant cover for Witchblade and Dark Child. This is another Dynamic Forces exclusive and picked it up off of eBay. I bet if I turn it over, there is a Certificate of Authenticity. So, there we have it. Those are all the comics that I got when I was younger. 
Um, like I said, I was a big X-Men and Spider-Man fan. Eventually I got into some of these other ones, and uh, Dark Child seemed to be my favorite. I don't know why. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Um, I'm going to follow up this up follow up this this uh, collection video with um, I guess part three of the series and I'm going to show you some of the comics that I had started collecting again back in 2010 when I refound my interest in comics. Those are some of the more uh, recent comics that you might be familiar with and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed what I've put together here. Again, I hope I didn't bore you too much, but if you've been watching for this long, then you might as well continue watching with part three. Uh, this is 604 Comics signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will um, see you guys later. Um, please leave some comments and let me know what you think. Um, I welcome all feedback, criticisms, um, some of your stories of when you are growing up and when you were collecting comics. And I will see you guys later. Thanks.